Guys, I'm sorry I had to do another episode, but seriously. So this is Justin's handheld video game console reviews, episode 6. So, I'll be eating my Whoppers throughout this episode. If you hear the crunching like this, then that means I'm eating Whoppers. So, let's do this. So, the Sega Game Gear. Where do we start? So, it started way back in 1989. This little sucker was out by then. So, Sega needed another handheld to compete with the Game Boy. So, on October 6, 1990 and 91 in the U.S., everywhere else in Japan, Sega released this bad boy, the Sega Game Gear. It featured a loud, the a loud as heck stereo display. Oh. Yeah, you heard that? That's loud as heck. And, and the battery life up to three to five hours. Put that in math. Five, one, two, three. Yeah, that's eight people. Eight hours of battery life on the go? What a ripoff! And according to Google, was the Sega Game Gear failure? Although it was popular when it first released, it eventually failed for many reasons. Some of the bigger reasons that caused it to fail were its short battery life, uh, its lack of games, and, uh, and its higher prices for the device. You can also check out this video to learn all about the Sega Game Gear. And there are 364 games for the Sega Game Gear. Uh, uh, all right, that's the, you know, that's, uh, all right. The last Game Gear game in Brazil was Mickey's Ultimate Challenge, released in 1994. But then, and it last year Sega released the Sega Game Gear Micro. And holy cow, that thing was the size of this. I mean look at that. Look at that wait, let me do this. Look at the size! They're like the as small as whoppers. Come out whoppers. Yeah, they were the size of a Whopper. And Sega released it in four different colors with four different games. So each one cost forty dollars. So let's do the math. So, 40 uh, plus 40 plus 40 plus, yep, 40 plus 40. And what does that equal? So, you have to pay $160. Just to buy the whole Game Gear Minis. Just wow. And that means there are only 16 games on the Game Gear. Why not 364? I don't know, guys, but that's how it is. So, my first game was Sonic Spinball, but I sold it on eBay for some reason. And then... I got Sonic Chaos, which is my most played game in the history of my life. But that was it for the Sega Game Gear. Only one real release. Well, that's what you thought! Before the Sega Game Gear Micro and all the other stuff, 
Let's take a trip back to 2011. Ah, oh, yes, 2011. What can I think of of it? Me when I was born. My mother and father being there for me. Me having numerous photos of babies. A baby me. And what you guys know n now know about me when I was a baby. I have no words to say right now. When the Nintendo DS was uh, two years from being discontinued. But let's not focus about that. And also in Season A, a Spongebob started. But let's not focus about that. Back in 2011, Sega emulated stuff. Sega Game Gear games on the 3DS. I mean, it. if you think that's lame. Well, here's a screenshot. Huh? You think that's real? Huh? It is real. So, yeah. Yep. See? 3DS. Game Gear on 3DS. Look. Yay. And you can get them on the eShop or thing. I think. So, yeah. So, it comes... The emulation screen comes in the yet, yet, leg, beep, regular Sega Game Gear colors, such as yellow, black, red, and blue. There are also some certain ones, some that they were never released in North America, like this, uh, Magic Knight. Ray of Limited Edition Game Gear System, which is $250 on eBay. There's also this red Coca-Cola Sega Game Gear. And uh, there's this weird Japanese one. And uh, they also... No, that's, that's not Limited Edition. I'm looking... Oh, they also did a... Uh, uh, the Hedgehog one that I should have got because I'm a huge Sonic fan. And this LCD mod people do every day. So yeah, I wanted to do this episode since episode 4, but now I finally got a chance to do it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Kimmy. <coughs> and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.